maybe I should buy a lottery ticket today. I mean, I got five twos, man. I, yeah, lottery ticket it is. What's up, guy? Well, I'm just seeing what it would be like to uh, to put a wall in this thing and drive around, you know, using only my side mirrors. So that that's what the cardboard's for. I finally got Nemo out of here, though. For those of you that don't know, Nemo is the uh, C-Max hybrid battery, like the full battery I had back here. I finally got it out. God, that thing's heavy. It's just awkward and heavy for like one person, but yeah. No, a lot of cardboard at home and, uh, you know, the honeydew list. You know what a honeydew list is. That's when the wife's like, uh, you need to do this. So, um, I'm taking this to my job to throw it in the dumpster. <laughs> But anyway, guys, let's roll it to today's video. Now, like, hiccup there. I'm going to edit that out. No, right, no, guys, Good not. morning. And, yeah, we don't have the pop today. Uh, they've been out of, like, the, the bottles for, like, God, four or five days, man. So we got the old double shot energy. Like, I need that, really. Uh, white chocolate. I don't know, man. It, it sounds like a beer cracking. I, I, I'm not a beer drinker, guys. Yeah, but that's not terrible right there. I mean, ain't as good as the bottle. Dump truck. A lot of dump truck traffic here. So anyway, guys, how is everybody doing? It's Tuesday morning. Great, beautiful day. It's not hot yet. I hope y'all watched my yesterday video. It wasn't great, but uh, for the people on uh, members on here and Patreon... I hope y'all enjoyed the nighttime video of the wife's little blazer. We got that thing. It's doing pretty good now. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. We haven't really had a chance to play with it a whole lot since we moved, sadly. But it had things that needed to be done, like that transmission issue. Guys, I'm not a mechanic. I'm pretty mechanically inclined, but I'm not a mechanic. But if you got a 4L60E, it is really not hard to change them uh, solenoids in that valve body. It's like uh, you got a groove right under where it plugs in and there's a little clip in there that you dig out with a pick and then it's going to go flying somewhere under the vehicle, which in my case, I'm working in the grass. So on concrete, it would have been great, but working in the grass, not so much. So at that point, you have to go and dig out a big magnet. I'm not putting a subwoofer under there, but I got them magnetic trays like this big, you know, that whole boat. So yeah, just take one of them and you know, run it through the grass and you're going to find your clip eventually. Uh, then, you know, unplug the sensor, pull it out, lube up the O-ring with trans fluid, plug the new one in to the valve body, put the clip back on it and plug it in. And that's literally all it takes. But anyway, guys, I had somebody hit me with a message talking about uh, subwoofer sizes. And, you know, they're talking about I think they were talking about 12s and 15s maybe. Uh, but if you have like pretty much the same subwoofers, just different sizes, same power, both of them in a really good enclosure, which one is going to be louder? The bigger sub because more cone area. Generally, more cone area will equal more efficiency if it's the same brand sub, same model. Both of them are in like really ideal enclosures. And uh, even with the same power, just because usually cone area is king. So I, I would say, yeah, now there could be variables like maybe the tuning, well, no, the tuning on both of them be about the same. So resonant frequency in the cabin would be close to the same, you know? I mean, I'm gonna just say that more cone area would be king if both of them are in ideal enclosures, tuned the same. Just everything, yeah. But that's not what today's video is about. I want to talk about lithium today. Since I got the old C-Max, you know, and I'm getting ready to do a C-Max build after my honeydew low. Which I should be back on the Jeep this weekend. And then upcoming, I do have that C-Max teardown and everything. But we're going to talk about lithium today. And the reason being, I see, I'm in a lot of lithium groups and car audio groups, and I see people uh, take apart these uh, 
cases that you buy, you know, I'm not going to really mention no brands, but there, there's a lot of them, you know, like the Titan batteries, the excess power batteries, uh, underground power and all them. Now, guys, they're making hella profit off of you first off. I mean, they're, they're just buying bulk cells and throwing them in a case with some, uh, spray foam and some, you know, one out wire, a couple of lugs, and they're putting about a 400% markup on it. Maybe more. Now, is there a place for them batteries? Definitely. I'm not here to bash them batteries. That's not what I'm here to do. Like, I absolutely do not like limitless lithium batteries. Uh, just because I've read so many comments that are negative on them. And my buddy BJ, you know, he's he's one of the Jeep guys. Uh, but he's got a really, really nice Jeep. Uh, a lot of custom work in it and everything. And he had a Cyber 12K. And that thing was dropping voltage so bad with uh, a 5K amplifier. <laughs> so, with that, you know, I w that just didn't impress me at all. He had, you know, like, I think a 370 alt. <clears throat> he had the uh bully or bulldog whatever tuner you know little lcd screen and everything mounted and and his tuner he actually had uh a menu to go in where he could like adjust his idle so you know he's got this thing revving at like two grand and when he's playing music i mean i was just i was watching his voltage drop so that really didn't impress me because before he put the Cyber 12 in there, he had an old DS18 limit, I mean, a, a, no DS18 lithium battery, you know, a little red case with a positive and negative on it. That was, I think it was uh, around 72 amp hour of headway cells. And he didn't have voltage drop with that. So that just kind of like, killed me and i know the cyber batteries are like a uh i think they're a uh more cost effective version of the limitless lithium but i think a lot of guys you know for the price they're paying for that if they would go join some uh lithium groups on facebook do some research on youtube about building your own battery battery hookup has all kind of cells to get a decently made battery. And we're in a day and age where I honestly believe that the lithium batteries that people are building in their backyards is the way to go. As long as they got proper uh, compression and everything, if you're running C-Max or Proto or whatever, but it seems like they're just way stronger batteries. Cause when you go to a show and you see people demoing that have like really big systems, a lot of power, they're they're not running for the most part most of them aren't running a bunch of these like small little built by somebody else at a, a shop battery you know like the titans or the the limitless lithium underground power or whatever they're not running those they're running huge banks of c-max and proto and yinlong which yinlong cells are great but uh I think that if you guys do your research, you're going to wind up a lot better on your electrical. Even if you build it yourself in your backyard, man. I saw a post the other day of a guy that, uh, I think it was a headway build that he did or something. It might I think it was headway. But he made his own bars and he said, it, you know, he just did it with aluminum uh, flat bar and a drill press. And, and I mean, it looked phenomenal. He polished them out and they actually looked like they were machined. So, a little bit of research should go a long way on this. Like I said, I'm not here to bash them batteries because the plus side of those batteries are they tell you where they charge at. A lot of times you don't know what cell chemistry is in that battery or what type of cell, but they tell you where they charge at. So, you know, you guys that just have a small build in a car, your voltage ain't on point. You can buy one of them batteries, put it in there. Some of them are even made to go under the hood. So that's a, a, another bonus. But you can have lithium that's pre-built, ready to go. All you do is like put it in, 
hook up positive ground, you got lithium. And they'll work with your stock charging and so on and so forth. Uh, that's a really good thing to have for people that don't want to spend the time to build a battery. They can just buy one ready to go. Even uh, JP at Down for Sound, and I haven't tested them. I don't know what sent them. I knew they were coming like uh, a year ago when I was with Down for Sound. But they have the, the battery that you just bolt to your wall or enclosure or in the back that looks like an amplifier. That was ingenious. I, I really like the way they look. They're set up really nice. You know, you can link them together. I don't know the price point on them, but I think they actually look cool. Because they, they'll kind of fit right in, look clean back there. That is a big plus. But for you guys that's wanting like really stout electrical, do your research on like uh, Lishan. I think this is how you pronounce it. Lishan sells. Uh, the Yinlongs definitely. You know, Yinlongs will work decent at stock voltage, like 14.4, 14.8. They, they do great there. And I've seen people take them things up to like 16 volts. Uh, they are very stout. I, I will give the, them props. And it's one of the safer lithiums to run. You almost can't kill a yin long cell. It, you can't really. I mean, it's almost impossible to get one to catch fire, blow up, or whatever. Those are awesome. But there's tons of great information for you guys. Like DYI Lithium is one of the groups on Facebook. I, I'm not 100% on the actual name of it, but it's a, a pretty much a car audio group. And there is a lot of good info in there on sales how to build your cell banks, and so on and so forth. Just like all Facebook groups, you're going to have your like fair share of people that are rude and want to bash everybody. That's just Facebook in general. But if you weed through the bull crap and go in there and just read up, maybe ask a question, then add and your question, go through the comments and weed out the douchebags. You might find a couple people that are helping you out, but... I just kind of wanted to go over this because I see a lot of bad things about the pre-built cells. Uh, and, you know, a lot of them are nothing more than a battery case, some spray foam, and like four cells. But they are, they, like I said, they do have their place for people that are like young novices and getting into car radio that want to do better than AGM. And they really do have their place. Uh, and, and some of them are really good. You know, I think JY, they have really good uh, batteries for the most part. My little, my little homie Joe ran a JY80 forever with two MD8Ks. And, I mean, he had pretty good electrical. Underground power, my buddy Peyton Johnson runs them. And, I, you know, for the most part, I think he's done pretty well with that. So, I don't know what cells are in them cases. They might be full of headways. And I do have a couple headway videos on here where I bought a Super Beast module, took it apart, and built a couple banks. Really easy to do. If you order the headway Super Beast, that's like your best bang for the buck lithium. At uh, batteryhookup.com, just type in like Super Beast. You get enough headway cells to build a 96 amp hour battery. <clears throat> and... You can go buy aluminum flat bar and, you know, trace the bars that connect it all together in there, lay out a configuration and drill holes. And, you know, I built a 48 amp hour out of that in an hour. And that was like cutting the aluminum bar, drilling it, bolting everything together and throwing a balancer on it. And literally I spent an hour putting a 48 amp hour together. So anyway, I hope this video helps somebody with their lithium journey. Do research. Uh, I think Walt Johnson at Carolina SPL, giving him another shout out because he, you know, did me right on some uh, C-Max bars. But he does make a lot of bars for different lithium chemistries. And, you know, he does pretty nice work. And I, I think he even carries quite a few cells. Uh, so that might be a good revenue to reach out to buy a whole kit where you get the bars to bolt it together and the cells. But this video getting long, overly drawn out, still digging my wall. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I hope you all have a great day. Peace out, everybody. Base on.